Hi and welcome back to the channel's friend. This is Painterly Tuesday and this is what we are going to be doing today. A very romantically sweet, whimsical fall romance. Look at these two dressed in their fall finest on the forest floor. This is the printable. You can get my free printables for this project. You can print it at any size. This is in the 5x7 because today I think we're going to go ahead and do a card. And I'm using a blank card that you can get at any craft store. It's in the 5x7 size. I printed this. This is the printout. I have it all prepared on the back to do the click transfer method. I had showed that in my previous video. Make sure you check that out. And you're just going to go ahead. You got that all pre graphited with a graphite pencil on the back and this I'm not going to go over the whole thing because I'd already done that here with this one and I'm going to go ahead and show you how you adhere this is all cut ready to go I'm going to use a glue stick and put that down and you can see it's very faint but you will just keep going over that or use your transfer method of choice I highly recommend transferring if you're going to do a watcher color like we're going to be doing today, today I'm going to be using Tombow dual brush pens. And it's going to be a super cute fall romance. You could print it at any size. This is the full size I did. You could do a full size printout if you like. Make sure you read my description box for description box for full details. It'll take you directly to my Pinterest page and you will be able to print out any printout of your choice from there. Look for today's printout. It's called Fall Romance. All right. I'm going to get this all stuck down and we will be making a card and just keep doing your transfer method. Just work with it. That's how I did this. Then I also did, after I did the transfer, I used a fine micron pen, water proof micron pen to do a little trace over the pencil okay thank you for joining if you are coming back as a returning subscriber thank you so much and if you are new to the channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button let me know what you think of the project and i appreciate you coming back and if you would like to do so you could add a little Sentiment, I used a You're So Sweet stamp, cut it out. It's going to be part of my card. I put it on a separate piece of paper. As you can see, you could add anything you like. All right, let's get this all adhered down to the card. And I'll be right back to show you how I'm going to paint mine. Be sure to use any painting medium of your choice. And let's get started. Okay, I've already got everything secured with the glue stick. This is the glue stick I use from my local Dollar Tree. I also taped it down here so it's not shifting around. Pre-punched some holes on top to add a ribbon when we're all finished. Thinking I might use this lace. I also went ahead and went over this a little more, as you can see, you can see the transfer coming through, just want to let you know that does work. Okay, I have an assortment of Tombows ready to go, two cups of water, paper toweling for dabbing when we need it. Okay, let's get started with the painting. I pre-did a mushroom here because we are on the forest floor with these darling mice. Very romantic. He might have just proposed. Ooh. She said yes, and he has propped her up on this mushroom for a nice kiss. Okay, just follow along. Choose your colors of choice. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint through. And let's have some fun with this. This is going to be an adorable card you could send to a loved one. And it comes with these cards you can get at your craft store. They come with envelopes. So you can mail them, give them out, dress them how you like. And follow along with me because I'm going to go ahead and go into a time lapse. So we can just have all painting, smooth sailing. You are so sweet. Oh, yes, you are. All right, let's go. 
maybe not a time lapse at first. So let's have some fun painting in this beautiful illustration. Okay, I'm going to use this dark brown Tombow. These blend out with water. Using the fine tip portion first. I'm going to do Mrs. Mouse, Miss Mouse Tail, because I don't think they're married yet. I don't think so. They're just on a cute little date. But they might be getting married, guys. This would make a cute save the date invitation. You decide how you want to color it in. Let me know what you've done with my printables. I'd love to hear from you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly outline to begin with. And then we will blend out that color. And I'm using a hot press watercolor paper. That's what I transferred my design to. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Trace over. Still using my dark brown to go around these edges and I went ahead and used my picket fence scissors to cut. I did a cutting technique here. Show you. Super simple. You could just use any scissors, punches, however you want to do. That's basically what I did on the corners. Laid everything together. Glued it down with that glue stick. See how that works? Super easy. And I can't look at this picture and not think of that song from the 70s. Muskrat Susie, Muskrat Sam, looks like muskrat love. Yeah, you know the song. You know the song. <laughs> I don't think these are muskrat. These are just basic little sweet mice. All right, let's continue with our painting, guys. Little blast from the past song. I can't even not think about that. That is such a cute little song. Captain and Tennille. You should look it up. You will get a giggle if you've never heard of that song before. Okay, let's blend this out a little bit with some water. As usual, I have two water cups off to the side. Go ahead and just kind of soften that up on this paper here. Diffuse that color. Hope you can see what we're doing here. All right. Forest floor romance. Super, super special for fall. Fall is right around the corner. They got twigs and berries, fall leaves. They're in a vignette. Also reminds me when you go on a cruise, they have those opportunities to take photographs. They pose you. Maybe they're in some sort of a place where there was an opportunity to take a very romantic fall picture because they are in their fall finest. They are dressed up. Who knows what's going on down, down on that forest floor. Soften that up. Kind of work it in the background. It's all right. Everything's glued down. You shouldn't have a problem. Maybe blend in these ears a little bit. Okay, get that started. I'm going to go around and detail this little sentiment here. Tombow red marker. Okay. Let's see about blending that out. I'm using a variety of round brushes today, just a few number two, number three, and possibly number eight. Okay? Because it's a small detail area, so you don't need too big of brushes. Let's just kind of softly blend that in. And that is a waterproof ink, so you shouldn't have any problems with that, as long as you're using waterproof inks. That's what makes your coloring process much easier. You got that detail down already. All right. And get back to that and if you want to add any more detail later maybe put a little more brown in there so it's not so bright so this is for fall it's a fall colored inspire inspirations here let's do a little bit just tap that in see what happens get creative Gonna 
use that color I pounced in there a little bit, just blend it out. Yeah, that looks cute. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add a little dusky blue background in the center here. That dusk. We're out for an evening stroll. And then now, after I finish this little portion, we're going to head right into our time lapse to finish up this card. Thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe. Let me know about what you're thinking about these projects. And once again, thank you for joining me.